Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Rowan Wintersong and we're continuing on where we left off in Diablo 4 on the last video. We're going to finish Act 3 today, or at least we're going to uh, try. I'm pretty sure that we're very close to the, to the uh, end of Act 3. Um, it's kind of a long act. It's We're on our fourth, what, the fourth video? Yeah, this would be the fourth Act 3 video, which is the other acts were three videos each. So, it is taking a bit longer. Anyway, let's see. So, last episode, we went to the Temple of the Prime Evils, uh, tracking down Elias. And apparently, Elias was in the middle of a ritual uh, to summon the lesser evil, Andariel. And the way he was doing it was he was going through this girl here that we see. Her name is Thaisa, and she was being tattooed and drenched in blood and sacrificial blood from other human beings, by the way. It was a kind of a creepy ritual while she was knocked out. Anyway, she, I think, is uh, possessed by Andariel, or being possessed by Andariel, slowly. She's hearing voices. Um... She's hearing Andariel's voice, rather. She's saying that. Uh, we stabbed... Lorath stabbed Elias before the, uh, we escaped. And we killed the Cannibal King, or I killed the Cannibal King. So, anyway, we're continuing on with that. Uh, our new goal is... Let me read it for you. We're still chasing Elias. And the quest that we're on now, Thaisa spoke of a palace... Elias holds within the deserts of Kejistan. Perhaps the locals of Tarsarok will know its location. Elias cannot be allowed to slip away now. So, yes, we are still chasing Elias. But now we've got her in tow. She's kind of possessed or being possessed or something. So, anyway, continuing on. Just rumors, mostly. The people here speak of a sorcerer who lives in a grand palace beyond the endless sandstorm. One of these nomads could help us reach it. They know the land better than... Taisa. Andaria. I hear her. I need a place to focus. Keep her voice at bay. Look for a guide. I'll get something to help Taisa clear her mind. What, like an aspirin? <laughs> oh. I was hunting him, much like you. Infiltrated the cult to get close. Somehow he was ready for me. He is more powerful than he seems. All right, let's ask around for a guide. You'll find none fool enough to accept that request here. Give up and stay alive a day longer. Ha! No chance. Not for all the gold in Chaldean. How about you? Nadja. Are you mad? There's a sorcerer living in that storm who will rip your flesh from your bones. Wait. What about the old man? What? Better to ask the dark sorcerer for a quick death. But uh, if you're desperate, he may be the only one crazy enough to agree. He spends his days in a cloud of smoke at the riverbank. It's dangerous there. Be careful. Mercenaries with a silly name, sniffing after coin. They saved my cousin's life, and she's worthless. Uh, can't argue with that. <laughs> Let me guess. Just passing through. <laughs> oh, yes. I'll never be married. 
who's holding a baby. Okay. okay I, I can guess at that story. Ah, oh, jeez. Found a quiet spot where she can focus on controlling Andario's presence. Is it safe to leave her here? Safer than stumbling blind through the desert. At least until we find a reliable guide. Travel to the Argentec... Argentec Riverbank? Alright. Let's do this. You coming with me, Lorath? Your goblin. Woohoo! I need more fury. I'm a flake. Get away! We got them. Ha <laughs> ha! They're like free. They're like free legendaries. Gotta chase them if you see them. In Diablo three, there are rooms full of these. I'm not sure that. That it, uh, if it happens here or not, or to the same extent, even. I hope so. Because that's fun. There's even a treasure goblin king realm or whatever that you can go to. Hmm. Every day brings new food. I'm not the one who's gonna roll their corpses into the river this time. <laughs> no chance. What you talking about, Willis? Corpses? Well, wow, these are all those. You better turn around and walk out of here, friends. <laughs> well, can't say I didn't warn you. Oh, is this the guy here? Don't kick him. You were just like him the other video. On the floor, drunk. I don't know if this guy's drunk. Huh? What's that? I'm paid up, leave me be. We're not here to collect. We need... Huh? This can't be. Can it? Is that a symbol of the whole? The whole, uh... uh Horadrim. Yes, Horadrim. Deca. Deca Kane. Can it be you, old friend? It's me, Mishi. No, Deca is gone. My name is Lorath. We need your help passing through the sandstorm to the north. Sandstorm, eh? The others must have turned you down. Told you some rubbish about a sorcerer, I'll wager. <laughs> 
Well, uh, what can a sorcerer do to me that time hasn't already? <laughs> yes, yes, I'll help. There's an old chapel near there, an auspicious spot to begin a new adventure. Goods. Gather whatever you need. I'll fetch Taisa and meet you there. Ha! Ah, this is wonderful! Like old times, eh, Deckard? <laughs> Poor guy. So, FYI, Deckard Kane. Uh. Lorath is like the new Deckard Kane. Deckard, Deckard Kane was the Lorath of the last three games, basically. Or at least two. I'm pretty sure he was in one also. But he was definitely in Diablo 2. Uh, definitely in 3. Actually, you know what? I don't think he was in one. I think they invented him in 2. Um, now that I'm thinking about it here. Anyway, he's uh, kind of a meme in himself. Uh, he's... He's known for that old man voice. The guy who he says he says, "Stay a while and listen." And he's got that shaky old man voice. Uh, anyway, he was like the lore master, and he was a Haradrim and stuff like that. So, if you were wondering, meet Lorath and the sheep at the Forsaken Chapel. And we're still Act Three. I think we'll know when we hit Act 4 is when he does that little monologue. Travel halfway there. <laughs> I think it's funny he calls him Deckard. Inside, Andario grew desperate, but her screams are only a whisper now. This is holy ground. Her influence will be weaker here. No, I've been a burden for you already. One day, I will find a way to help you. Terrible things. Mad things. She knows of Lilith's return and what Elias is planning. But Andario does not care who wins, only that someone loses. And that their suffering is extreme. I am. Up to Taisa, whether she'll join us, though. Every part of me wants to walk through that storm and draw Elias's blood. But perhaps he is counting on my vengeance to lead me back to him. So he can finish what he started. It is safer for everyone if I stay. No shame in that. It's the wise choice. We'll bring you his head. you much about himself, eh? <laughs> I remember when he couldn't stop him from talking. We met several lifetimes ago. In Aranak, I believe. Oh, maybe Lutgalain. That's right. Oh, I was a sailor back then. And a handsome one, too. Deckard was always such an intense fellow. 
but kind and dependable. Took it upon himself to right any wrong he found. <laughs> and we found many. To think I would find him here of all places. Still just as intense and still traveling with interesting company. <laughs> I wonder if Mashif was in the previous games. Let me know in the comments if you uh, know the answer to that. I have no idea. <laughs> Are you? Oh, I hope you've lined your pockets with healing drops. <laughs> if not, help yourself to the ones I keep on old Isabella here. <laughs> Storm's going to get worse, too. I can smell it. When it starts to kick up, we'll have to find something to shelter us. Or there'll be nothing left of us but bones and stories. Out of fury. <laughs> Just savoring the moment. This is going to be a trek to remember, eh, Deckard? I can't wait. All right, here we go. actually taking damage. Guess we're waiting here. Could it be? Ah, it is the God's favorite journey friend. Share a drink with me, Deckard. A toast to another life or death adventure. No, I, uh, I've had quite enough, I told you. Ah, I won't turn down such generosity. <laughs> Oh, Isabella is a healer. The camel is a healer? I guess I'm drinking the water stored inside of it. That's a little odd. Is the camel still a healer? Or just when we're resting? Oh, 
Okay, he doesn't actually move on, move past us or anything. Or he'll only go so far and wait for us, looks like. Oh, shit! funny Without a direction, just waiting. Aye. It's important to have something to work for. One foot in front of the other, eh, hey, old friend? If we stop walking, we die. Sounds like the winds have calmed. I'm not sure what he sees, how he can see, uh... Loreth as Deckard from the string figure. Other than the fact that he's like kind of an old man, he's not nearly as old as Deckard Kane was. But other than that, they really don't have anything that makes them similar. Maybe that they're Haradrim, I guess. Stay close.
worse as the others made it seem. <laughs> Okay, so we still have three more quests. There was two out of five. So three more quests before we get uh, the, to the end this. of Act 3. To think such an intriguing place was hidden beyond the storm. A relic from the old days of Ketistan, maybe. Lost to time until Elias seized it. He must have stole some treasure, eh? Mashif, don't move. Don't speak to anyone. There is great danger lurking here. You've grown fearful in your old age, my friend. But worry not. I will stay put. Find the entrance to the exalted terrace with Lorath. Okay. Let's go, Lorath. Elias chose them to join his anointed circle? <laughs> that one in the will never survive what is to come. <laughs> it was Master Elias's hand that brought Lilith to sanctuary, and it will be his hand that binds a lesser evil to our will. Imagine when we hold that kind of power. We, I think it's gonna be just Elias. Or a Lilith. seen you before we just made it through the storm by the mother's grace ah new disciples you've come at an auspicious time lilith recently graced us with her presence she was here oh it was magnificent but do not worry perhaps master elias will give you a glimpse of her through the sightless eye if he deems you worthy. Go inside and present yourself to him. Damn. This is worse than I thought. Elias has the sightless eye. It's ancient magic. He can see anywhere with it. Across time, even. Hmm. Our flock has grown. Behold, the wonders that the mother has in store for you. Summoning Whatever demons. Whatever you ask of me, it will be done. Go forth and stand in judgment before Master Elias. And show no fear. Hesitation. Don't worry. We won't.
the Cypher's eye while we still have time. We can't leave it with these fanatics. Hold on. I see something. Blood. I gotta get all the gold and treasure, guys. You must understand. I must get all of it. vision. Lilith thinks the prime evils will destroy Sanctuary, and she's empowering people to stand against them. That's why she and Elias are gathering followers. They're building a bloody army. Yes, Noah. The lords of hell threaten what the hell? our existence, and we are doing something about it. Elias! How are you still alive? You will never understand what I have done for this world.
our heads against him like this. He'll wear us down. We need to escape, but not without the Cypress Eye. If we can take it, that'll rob him of some power at least. All right, let's go get it then. Sightless Eye. In the mountains, the mother and I saw a village. The people, cold and hungry, prayed to a light that would give them no warmth. But in her presence, a new fire was stoked in their hearts. They would never go hungry or feel cold again. I guess we'll kill him again. I gotta kill the supplicants. Or... <laughs> Taking it will change nothing. It is too late to stop what Lilith has begun.
ready. All right, I think we've killed them, what, four times now? <laughs> Here it is. The sightless eye. Mashif can help us get the artifact far from this place. But we need to hurry before Elias returns. That opening over there is our best chance of escape. Lorath go. Put pressure here. We need to stop the bleeding. Oh, whoa. It seems I've lost a step in my old age, eh, Dracata? <sighs> no. Hey, <coughs> you made it. <laughs> Did you kill that sorcerer fellow? Don't talk. The storm was broken. We'll get you out of here. Oh, it's a shame. <laughs> I got mine. Just a hair too late. Sneaky devil poked me in the back. <laughs> Skewered like a quill rat. So it goes. Hey, huh? dear God. Poor guy. So it goes. They'll be coming. I'm taking the sightless eye. 
need a safe place to study it. Use it against them. We'll meet at the Desert Chapel. Go. Back at the chapel. Did you kill him? More than once, in fact. Trouble is, he won't stay dead. <laughs> he is more powerful than I thought. I underestimated him. So did I. But we took something important from him, at least. The sightless eye. I think he was using it to commune with Lilith from afar. A powerful piece of magic. And dangerous. Perhaps we can use it to our advantage. Give me some time to study it. The prime evils were reforming. Hell was coming. But Elias was not the answer to anyone's prayers. If you want to take the measure of someone, you judge them by their deeds, not their words. Simple as that. Elias preached of saving the world while standing atop a mountain of corpses. Then there was the Wanderer. Everything Elias was not. Tainted by Lilith's blood and yet able to resist her corruption. That was what I witnessed in the Wanderer's deeds. And that was when I started to think that perhaps together, we could keep the evil at bay. Must have been gruesome in that cult of his. No more gruesome than the rest of Sanctuary's underbelly. Is it incense crafting? Looks like, whoa. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We gotta. Let's see. We lose rallying cry and challenging shout and a socket. Excuse me. Gain dexterity, 10 all stats, damage reduction from distant en enemies. Maybe. Craven Adventurer's Boots. Gain movement speed when moving away from slowed or chilled enemies. Mm, I don't know how that works. See, we lose willpower and intelligence, which we don't give a crap about. We gain shadow resistance, fire resistance, slow duration reduction, and cold resistance. It is an upgrade, but I like the other... Maybe this will make things go a little faster. Let's give it a shot, but I want to at least take the uh, the aspect off of this. Perfect. Uh, okay. Dual wielded weapons, which we don't really do too often. Thorns and fortify generation. Nope, 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 nope. This is a big upgrade in D DPS. This in the blade. Critical strike damage. Let's see what we're losing first. We're losing, losing overpower damage, execute, and 23 strength. But we're gaining close damage, core skill damage, critical strike damage, and more critical strike damage. This is overall an upgrade. Now this. Damage reduction while fortified. Losing dodge, dexterity, strength, 
in the legendary power. This one we're gaining a little bit of life regen. Damage for four seconds after 14% damage after four seconds after killing an elite and 21 intelligence. Ah, we're good. Okay. Alright, guys, we are officially on Act 4, so we're going to go ahead and end the video here. Uh, looks like it was a good length video, uh, almost the standard hour. Despite me, I, I actually thought that the video is going to be like 15 minutes, or at least Act 3 was like 15 minutes left. So I was going to do part of Act 4, but it looks like it ended in the right spot. Um, Alright, guys. Thank you for watching. It, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video, guys. Thanks.